but it's like 14 years I'm not like not like you're I'm getting banned it's not like I'm getting banned from like a discord account but did you just say something towards me that is completely inherently vile when I was at least 14 years old at the time no I'm not no you mean this this means that you said like I'm going to like insert vile r word to death like that's the meaning of that yes i'm 14 so is that a five-year gap yes but that's but that was the time before when I before when I was fifteen. Well, that's before when I was fifteen. I was fourteen at the time. Since when I was like, at least like I turned fourteen like on November twenty twenty. And the point is, and the point is, uh, why did you actually do that to me on 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 a Discord group, on a Discord server that I made to go against Diana when I used to do that and bust. Yes. Yeah, but if, yeah, but if you think about it, I get Drew Pickle's jokes are funny, but the thing is, when it comes to involving around children, I think I think that my values should not be used on children because I think that's pretty fucked up. Like. So here's a question. Why? So I have something else to what to explain that why you did this to involve. So here's the thing. Why did you even accuse Keegan over stuff that he didn't do? I mean, like that was the time when when Rosina head had set him up for a reason. Then what person, what person, what what person did you completely, what person? I've been hella accused so many times by your statements of like, back in the past when I was called as being a pedophile, which means I've been told that your statement that pedophilia equals five years and 16 years of age, correct? Yes. Then I think I doubt... I think I doubt that pedophilia is illegal and regardless of regardless of by the law, but in some other countries, I mean like Lollycon is in the US it's legal, sadly. I, I did my research on Wikipedia. I know Wikipedia may not be a reliable source of information, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean like, yeah, but there's a lot of biased and inaccurate details about on wikipedia or, or bias and manipulation on the parts of it that's why you should be that's why you should never use it as your trusted source i mean like there may be some alternatives to wikipedia like that is the well yeah but the thing is fandom is shit because of the people that are toxic out there there's some people out there like one of the worst fandom wikis i've ever known is like um villains wiki which means their wiki is so intentionally are bias and other things and like not really like their their wiki is so bad when it comes to regardless on topic like one of the worst parts of one of my favorite Doctor Who characters, like, were put onto villains wiki for no fucking reason. Like, like a character was turned evil at first, and then, then he turned good. That's how redemption arcs began. Like, are they so blind? Can they just even understand what redemption arc is?
And so the question is, uh, um, I have recent allegations to what to say this. So, did you just retweet it, some regatha like from the amazing digital service? What's her age? Can can it, what age is she? Can you confirm it for me? Regatha, like. What about Pomni? So she's in her twenties, but stuck, but far nearer her thirties. Correct. All right. The thing is, the thing is, why, why did, why did, why did, why did, why did you even call K Boss as a setup? towards you. Yes, but when it comes to, like, even if I was an adult, I would not do this specifically towards women. And because of that, I would just respect their boundaries because, you know, there's some... Okay, I mean, like, if even if the people who are asexual or if they're not comfortable with it, that's fine. But the point is, I've decided, the point is, I think... I was I was being lured into traps so many times when it comes to people like this online, you know. The thing is, I have an issue with people who has done a lot of like, well, some fucked up related things into them into themselves. Is that the thing is the thing is I have a question. Um so did you actually um so did you actually why did you say, why did you even actually say when telling black people to go to Africa? Yeah, well, what year were you born specifically? What country were you born? Were you born in Puerto Rico or the United States? So, did you actually move to the US or some shit? So, you left. So, you really despot. So, what country do you. What country. Do you li what country do you literally despise? What parts of Puerto Rico did you li literally despise after all? I mean, okay, but I mean, like, there's some people with issues in Puerto Rico, like, there's a lot. Some people may have experiences that aren't enough, like, because of government issues or some shit. That's why. That's why I'm living in the United States right now, and believe me, it really kind of sucks because of their government. They just, their, their government is shit. How? And the UK government is just full of shit because, for what I've been told, the UK government is transphobic. Well, well, don't go to Mexico because I don't think Mexico is a lot more safe. If you go to the safest parts of it, then you're good to go. But there's, for what I'm told, there's a lot of drug cartels out there, a lot. And there's. Yeah, if you go to another country, well. There's like Brazil, even though Brazil is Portuguese, what I'm told, there's a lot of Spanish speakers out there. 
Well, the, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, um, I mean, like, Brazil is okay, but their government, like, Jair yeah, Bolsonaro is shit. Like, Jair yeah, Bolsonaro should be fired. Like, he's believing in, like, Trump right-wing propaganda, but that's be, that's be sick. I mean, like, I mean, like, right, right wing is just bad, but so is the left. I'm, I'm not. Yes, okay. Give me the examples. And the thing is, wanting to keep abortion legal. But nowadays, states are doing that because, literally, it's time to make America to be, like, in a better place. But now, America's on drugs. Yeah, what if the worst part it is, some toxic Americans say, English is the first language! No, I'm not, I'm not saying Eng I'm not I'm saying I'm saying like I'm just saying like the people that some toxic Americans say English is the first language. I mean like yes, but no, actually it's not because I did my research. Sumerian was the first language. English, and then in before English first adopted that language, before English was developed, long long ago. And after all those days, I've been been talking about that. There's a lot of people in. There's a lot of controversies, and even though there's a lot of things like, I really wish there was equal protections throughout their country, and just to ban hate crimes but yeah the only hate crime in america that is illegal is persecution but but in the eu hate speech is illegal which i'm told yeah but the thing is there's a lot of hate i'm not saying i'm not saying that why i just don't want to support i mean like Free speech can be misused, but freedom works for rely on is relying on the good because to me I think I think it should not be used for the bad, not for the evil and not for like for the shit. Mm -hmm. So so I have a question. So Yes. Did you did you actually were you a victim? Were you what 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 did you really accuse Keegan for in the past? Now, I really accused Keegan... No, Keegan, what... I wasn't the one that accused him. You see, um, Keegan was, in fact, accused of sexual... Being sexually abusive towards Kai. You know, Kai Chan 2K. Yeah. Um, she was a personal... She was one of the victims of Keegan. The other women were also victims of Keegan as well. And due to him being sexually abused towards women, I think he was exiled from other communities as well. I think, I think... Back according to I his... I think it was according to Keegan's Encyclopedia Dramatica. Although, ED is dead, because forget about that. I mean, like... Mm -hmm. It's time It's time for you to stop using some A-log-based sites and wikis. Yeah, like... I, I think if you wanted to make a wiki regarding about controversy people, then use fandom or mirrorize it or mirrorize instead. Or or make a document. Like I've seen yeah. the document about I think I have the document about Keegan though, which is archived, thankfully. You archived it from like archive ph or archive.org. Nope. I decided I kept it on my computer. 
So you've actually downloaded the file of it? Yup, I downloaded the file of it when somebody brought up Keegan's pass. So, I've been definitely archived a person of one of my foes that I met since like three years ago. Don't want to mention right now because for, for good reasons, because I'm spying on a certain server right now. What server is it? I don't want to dig into detail, you know, one of my people are going against her for a reason. You probably would know that she did send TF2 porn. Don't mention it to, while, while, while I wanted to dig into detail about that. You mean but Beatrice sure. Korecki? Yes. I mean, I mean so that Beatrice Korecki, I've done a lot of questionable because I've made her plan to fall for that shit and try to try to spy on it. Her NSFW server is like the internet rabbit. Yep. Like, there's gonna be full of miners. Holy shit. Yeah. I was in her server. If I was in her server and tried to expose, this is like an internet rabbit hole craving history. Mm-hmm. And even at some point, why were you accused of being pedophile? For no reason. Oh, Be for... By Beatrice? No, well, by someone. Today. Why was I accused of being a pedophile? Yeah. Well, it's because, you know, I made Drew Pickles... I think it's because I made Drew Pickles videos out of Vlad and, you know, um, Ivan Sauspoff. I think it's because of that, and they they both accused me of being a pedophile, even though I didn't... Even though I was making a Drew Pickles video just to take a piss out of them. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, but... I mean, like, I have a problem with them encouraging people of making some, like, disgusting videos out of minors. I think they... My values as I differ, I think they should not be. Even if it comes with, like, Drew Pickles goes to Octavia's house, the character from the Little Boss. According to my calculations, she is 17. And she's asexual, by the way. Who is 17? Octavia from Hulover Boss. Hmm... That is that is a red flag. Yes, but yeah, because Octavia is indeed um like a minor. I think she might be like eighteen. I don't know. Maybe it could be the writer's choice. Maybe. Yeah. Because you know, characters don't age like the same things as humans really do. They can only change. Only they can only age. If the art changes, you know what I mean? If the artwork if of theirs the... improve their characteristic. Yeah, unless if the writer of the character or the character designer makes, uh, like, does the right thing and, like, changes their... No, change... Changes their age and change their look and appearance? Yes. <sighs> uh, yeah, technically. It's... It's it's like the same thing, but kind of does the same thing of their story. But you know, I've been digging deep into like some rabbit holes. Like I was searching up like Cyrax and all that shit. You know about mm -hmm. Daniel Larson, right? Do you know about him? You mean the guy? You mean the guy on TikTok? Yes. Yeah, I think I. No, I don't know about him. Daniel Larson was, like, he was accused of being a pedophile, and he has a lot of disturbing things in his Pinterest history that people found out. So he's a horror cow? I think he's a lol- I mean, like, why is the term lol cow a dead term? Hmm. I think the real reason why lol cow lost its meaning is because it was full of right-winging agenda, I think, far-right. When what's horror cow for? Is it still a buzzword or is it still being used to this day? Being used to this day, and I think the horror cow means a locale of interest of disturbing things like pedophilia, necrophilia, um, incest, you, you name it. I mean, like, Daniel Larson is indeed a horror cow, but I would or say... Sometime, or maybe a schizo cow, too. We don't know. I think it's schizo cow, on the other hand, is like mental illness or something like that. 
Which means I think he is like, like although Daniel really. Um, hold on, let me be right back for a moment. Okay. All right. So okay, might be pausing the recording. Okay. back all right I'm back all right you're back oh, okay so so I have a question yes what? so so is your situation kind of reminds me of a busy Vivian Madreo drama or some sort what you know, Vipsy Pop, right? That the same thing is, is. Does this situation of you kind of reminds you of that? Yeah. So. So. So, why did you got hated for? For did you got hated for no reason? I think I got hated for. An accusation called. I think I was accused of grooming and sexual harassment, even though. Even though I saw the screenshots, even though it was obvious that I didn't really sexually harass them, in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I hear, um, oh god, I hear, like, uh, Windows Recycle Bin shit. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Although, it kind of reminds me that... Yeah. Shit. Ow, oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm not, like, um... I think I found something in the go. Why do people in the go Anapedia I... page? Yeah, like what happened? Why? Why do you really think? Why do you really um? Why did you come back from YouTube? I'm I'm just asking. Hmm. I came back from YouTube because I I was thinking if I could just you know talk to people about the specific allegations made against me because. I wanted to tell them, like, my side of the story. You know what I mean? And... Uh, of, of course, but... The real reason why that, um... I did something in the past that was a little bit messed up, but at least it's not as... I didn't do it as a criminal record. Mm-hmm. But there was some allegations against the individual, against something in the past that, not only that, I've seen a person that there were two e-girls that I don't want to fucking mention that they spag fested my server and they let me allow me to do disgusting messages but thankfully I've cut contacted them and I don't want to get into serious trouble. Yeah. I, I don't... Because I would be... I would have been arrested if I did that shit because, like, remember, the authorities can see what you are doing. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. I'm well aware about that. Yeah, because the FBI and the CIA, can, so even though the CIA, well, done a lot of questionable things, if I can, if you ask me, although they're not really any better. Mm-hmm. You know what really grinds my gears in... 
You know what really grinds my gears on people? Yeah. You know, you know, I've been I've been accused of being a pedo for so many times without any evidence is to be told. Damn, like, that is terrible. I mean, like, I was 15 at the time, and some fucker called me a pedophile, but I did my research that... I did my research that pedophilia is five years, and I did my research and pedophilia, on... pedophilia, and the only way to be a pedophile is that you have to be at least 16. And ephebophilia, what's the requirement of the age? If... Uh, no, hebophilia is five years as well. Ephebophilia is means... Attraction with people under the age of 18, like, like, between 15 and 19 years old. Like, late adolescence. And... It was... So, so it could be a five-year age gap. So... I mean, like, the only requirements be as, uh, like, um... Um, um... The only requirements be at least, like, um... I don't know what it's called, like, what is it called whenever you're, like, if, whenever you do disgusting shit towards, like, only, like, three to four years of gap? What is it called? Three to four years of gap? Yes. I have no clue on that. Might be, it might be, like, statutory rape or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that can apply to, like, laws, because at some point, no minor is encouraged to, um, hit on a, hit on a three to four year, no minor, no adult or teenager should do that, that is far, like, because kids can't consent onto adults, so is teens. Mm hmm Back in my days, there was, like, I've seen so many, back in the days of my school, in the school, I've seen... So many people just draw their fucking... I don't want to say this, but it might be so inappropriate, disgusting. You know, back in the 2000s, like... That's how 2000s kids really do that. Like, some do. Yeah, that makes sense. That applies to middle school, maybe high school, yeah. But that's... You know, high school is like a place of thugs and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, people had so much bad experiences. Do you have, like, some issues in school or some shit? In the 2000s? Yeah. No, I don't have issues like that in the 2000s. What do you have an issue? What did, what did, what issue did you really face in school? Like, um, what, what problem? Like, did you, did you see any bullies or that shit? In the 2000s or 2010s? Uh, no, no, just by now, like, years ago. Years ago? I think I was bullied before. Um, people just want to fight. I don't know why, but I think it was... I, I don't know if it was a school fight or something. I just don't know. Okay, so... So, were you acute? Well, as I'm going to say this again, um... Why do you really think that the allegations against you were false? The allegations against me were... Why do I believe that the sexual harassment and grooming allegations against me were false? Yes. Because... Let's face... Because... I feel... Because... They think that I was sexually, you know, sexually harassing them. Even though it was obvious that... I did not sexually harass any of the women that were mentioned in the Twitter thread that Keegan mentioned about me. And, you know, I was asking, you know, I was trying to like, so I did a little flirting with um, K-Boss and Kage Vista, and I was aware of their relationship, though. I was aware of it. Well, they were uncomfortable or some shit? Yeah, they were uncomfortable with some of the NSFW ones, like the IRL ones. And, uh, yeah, what about, what about, how old is severely depressed? Severely depressed, or should we say, trying to recover is 26. So, 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 I've been told for this, that, that I've been told for once, like, uh, I've been saying this 
Uh, I've been saying this many times like this. That was like some ongoing murder drone situation. Like the murder drones community is like the same level as the Beyond community, and that made me want to leave. Now I want to come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of because of that thing is because I've made a harmless joke that wasn't even offensive, too disturbing. I was just being like being funny after all, and then people got butthurt. Damn. This is just as bad as being butthurt over a Drew Pickles video. Just as bad as being butthurt as a joke that is not considered deep or that way. The only jokes that are completely serious is like if a joke is too edgy. Like the 9 11 jokes. Yes. And the Muslim joke as well. Like the ISIS joke, I exposed Adrian on that because I was like, Adrian, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Is he like, is, is he, well, so you're telling, so, I mean like, so, so I've had some, some reports that, um, got me an eyewitness that you were, tr that you were accused of, like, um, like, yeah, the main real reason why I kind of actually, like, accused you, like, for things like, um, well, like, for sending, like, messages like, I'm going to insert disturbing R word to death, like, is that? Is this, is this, like, some kind of Drew Pickles related joke, or is this some kind of meeting a minor in person, in question? A Drew Pickles related joke. Okay. So. So, were you absolutely, what happened when the time being that what in the actual so why did you even call out Silson for for a reason for that for calling me a groomer I think it's because Silson was lying because I was having a nervous conversation with the people who were under the age of 18 I asked them for their age and and he said that asking for someone and he says that he was grooming a, that I was grooming the minor even though I wasn't grooming the minor, the minors that they say I was grooming were yeah, not but... were not were not groomed, and I asked okay. them for their age, yeah, yeah. and I yeah, said, "Wow!" I mean, like, but just because I you met... said the word "wow" or asked someone for your for their age doesn't mean it's grooming. Yes, but I have a question that people that. Most places ask your age, it's part of their identification, like getting a job mm -hmm. or anything. Yep. That applies to that applies to jobs or like or, or whatever places that you go in. Mm -hmm. But the thing is but the thing is, in my suggestion, I don't think asking people's age is like grooming on Discord because I have servers that we have that like I have a server that is like a absolutely absolutely I mean like it depends on the country even though like in Europe like you have to join social media at the age of 16 like in the European economic arena mm -hmm. like in Vietnam it's like 15 or like 14 I guess which means social medias some countries may have different age limits on social media that's the point mm-hmm U.S. that applies to, but with California it may be different, but believe me, California sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, li I at least live in a better state than California, like New York, you know. Um, I've been living in New York City, New York, for like um, 60 you know, years in my life. You know what's crazy in New York? Yeah. There's a lot of people that... You know what's crazy with you know what's really crazy? I mean think there's a lot of higher crime rates in New York. There's the only places that you really wanted to stay in New York is like some safer towns out there. Mm-hmm. Or safest parts in New York City. Yeah. Because sometimes cities may have high higher crime rates, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of them may have lower crime rates, but yeah, but the thing is, Dubai is literally one of the worst cities in the United Arab Emirates, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Dubai because, is the worst place to live in. 
there's a lot of human trafficking and oh god like the instagram mod models going questionable like towards children like holy shit oh shit yeah like an internet rabbit hole because my theory suggests that dubai is literally one of the worst towns ever they live because the UAE is not good, and I would say they're not pretty great because Dubai is a fucking joke. Yeah, Dubai is a joke. It's like, it tries to be like the fucking, is it, what is it trying to be, like the 24th century or the 21st century or the 22nd century? Okay, so, you all, so, so, let me show you something. For a yes. sec. Um, do you see the Twitter thread that, um, Keegan was making? Um, yeah, although, just to let you know, I think Google is going to disable Adblock in the future. It's going to be sucks for that. Yep. But hey, at least we got other, at, at least we, at least I'll just use LibreWolf. LibreWolf, well, it's the most privacy-based browser from Google, from Firefox, but... Mm -hmm. I know that Google Google's brow well, browser is like collecting data from users and selling it to advertisers. So what? So can you share this in full screen for me, please? Now they're saying that I was grooming. Now you see here, right? All right. Yeah. What and is it then? So when they say, so when I asked them the question about about the dick pick or something like that they said no and I was like okay I won't and I was and I do I, I think I made jokes about sexual satisfaction like you know Pew Muppet related jokes in a way yeah but, but in my suggestion towards people you know what I really despise about people who enjoy NSFW too much is like porn addicts like just be very careful if you're gonna do that too much. It might ruin your life. Like, trust yeah. me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and um, she was a Leo doll. K Boss was nineteen, I think. So, so is the age gap? So is is that legal? It's a two-year age gap. So I was so, twenty-one, so and it's, so it's a so it's a legal. So it's a legal a two-year age gap, is that correct? A legal one, yeah, it's legal. Two-year age All gap right. is legal. So K-Boss was not groomed. I, she and I joked about the NSFW part. And... You, you see this? I feel like we should just get the swellness all over the place. While we're in bed together. In our rooms. And it will be pretty, pretty swell. Now, that was the joke that I made. I think I was doing it as a way to flirt. Now, people, well, I was blocked when I told, still asking. So when I asked Girl of Heart for her booty, because I was curious to know what her booty looks like. And she's like, um, I think she's, Girl of Heart for was 32, right? Okay, so what? So I can actually. So is there any people? She was. She's like eleven years older than me. So if King is saying that I groomed um, K Boss and Girl of Heart, Heart by his logic, so and said that I. Even though, I was joking about it. I just I just made some like Spikorni related jokes, to like tell the truth. To, you know, flirt with Girl of Purple Heart, right? And K so question, question: Who ruined the Speakonia community? Do you have Speakonia friends on your Discord or some shit? Yes, I have many. Many of my friends were part of the Speakonia community, but they all betrayed me due to the allegations. And you see, slow now. That. That so is it like on the fourteenth of like um is it like the oct is it like four is it like um like fourteenth the Michael of, of Red October? the Michael of Radom thing um 
Now, from Ran Michael of Random, I did not groom him. When I said, I think I, I think it was to like tell something like, if I see a hot girl cosplaying at age 21, I'm being the shit out of her. But then I was like, I understood. I understood Michael of Random's point. Like, I took his advice. You know what I mean? And he says, all right, calm down, mate. Or, yeah. I mean, I was doing it's this for like a, a way to like, um, yeah, but to, like I joke think, around. Even though the M A is like a word, a symbol, like in text, it means mate. Like mate is like a British term for what yeah, I'm told. yeah, it's a British term. Yeah, it's a very British term. Michael Vrenum was not groomed. I don't think he was. You don't just form a relationship with someone based off of their costumes. Get to know the actual person first. Now, let me point this out. Okay. That is true. Now, that is true for me. But I don't think that's... But saying that Boz and Gurla were the real victims by his logic, I would say, listen. If Gurla... If Gurla Purple Heart... If you say that... If he's saying that Gurla Purple Heart and Severely Depressed were groomed... Then by his logic, Gurla Provar and Severely Press would be the groomers themselves too. So they would have shot themselves right in the foot right there. Okay. That's what so, I feel like. So, I wanted to see how that Diana had a question with that. Is that for sure for that? Mm-hmm. Now, that doesn't matter, you fuck up. But, I feel like I wasn't sexually harassing any of the women they mentioned. Now, the Drew Pickles video, the Drew Pickles, now, I did not sexually harass the women that they, that Keegan mentioned because a lot of them, because, let me point this out, I was like flirting with them in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you are saying, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yep, and I was sexing with them, I asked them, and before I sex, I asked them with consent, you know what I mean? I use, I asked them. You know what I mean? And if they don't uh, want to do that, that's fine. You know what I mean? So why did you... So here's the question. Yeah. Why did bad YouTube content actually posted this on Twitter? Can I think it's because to... Vlad was using this as a way to manipulate bad YouTube content into this. So... I mean, like... How old is severely depressed in this screenshot? Can you can I canonically in confirm? Those sure. Now the screenshots here, I know that severely depressed is 26, 25 to 26 years old, and she was born between, I think she was born in 1997. Okay, correct. Yeah. I'm nearly. I'm absolutely far from 18, but of course, if I was if. If even if people were comfortable of like um, doing this to like that, I would. And if people were not, I would just not do that in any shape or way or form. Mm -hmm. Is that? Yeah. Now for Kage Vista, um, I was flirting with her. You mean Kate? You mean Cage Vista? Is that correct? Cage Vista, yeah. Um, Cage Vista wasn't groomed. I was flirting with her. And I also told her about the Spicona jokes. She understood it. She understood it. She understood the Spicona joke that I was making. Now, for Diana Garcia, I did not groom her. I did not groom her. I did not groom Diana nor Sade. Because, because you know, Diana and Sade are both legal adults. You know what I mean? Yeah, but even... I had a discussion with Saeed for that. I mean, like, she was not comfortable with doing that. For what yeah, she was not comfortable for that. And I understood because, her. Well, I, I, don't wanna go, I don't want to go into Saeed's Saeed, tragic past about that. I don't want to dig into any detail because it might... I don't want to piss her off. I don't want to dig into any detail for, mm -hmm. like, a big full reason. Same applies for me, you know. I don't want to dig into any Master Dragon. But... Say things with Master Dragon Samurai too. Like, oh. I mean, Master Dragon Samurai was around my age. She and I were the same age. And what 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 year were you born? 
2002. And Diana Garcia was born in 2002. The same year as I am. Well, so, question is, um, so, question is, why, why did, why did, why did people in the server have to go after you for a reason? I think it was because the grooming allegations that were made against me. Now, well, they were false. They were false or true. False. I believe the allegations were false. Now, for Mello, they're saying that I don't understand what they mean. Now, for the screenshots, I decided to take a look at the screenshots pretty carefully. Now, for Mello, is Mello is now. Do you How old is... Is Mello? Is Mello was around her 20s, I think. Early 20s. She was born in 2001. I was I joking about she... the Barney Bunch shit, and... Were you... There were... Were you... There were... Were you have to speak on your friends that some of them did go against you, but they weren't Yeah. Old. Yeah. Now... Yeah... I was aware of Melo is Melo's relationship. Now, okay. And I was aware of her relationship. Her she was in a relationship with Brent for like t for like months though. Um so she wasn't really groomed. I did not groom her. I did not really groom her. So scroll down for a minute. Mhm. Mm scroll down for a minute. This was after the result, which I'm putting here for the sake of documentation, this was this post was made on both the MultiThink and Guild Discord servers. I'm no longer calling out Cleveland and using them as crude after this. While I don't condone their experience, at least they need a break. Oh yeah, if you try to screenshot for him now, you will see that he deleted fucking everything. It's also me to post everything. Now, the other victim, they did not mention. So, so, scroll down for a minute. Let me scroll down for the comment. The YouTube comment that I actually yep. like this. This. Yeah. This is what I really would say that that's me in the, in the, in the comment. Because for something else, for any context of that, I just feel like that it should not be intended for doing this to when it comes to a person into a meeting in person in real mm -hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me fix my headphones, although sometimes my headphones are pretty pretty messed up. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Take your time. All right. All right. So, were you... Were you... Were you... Was, were you, So, I just told the truth about this in the YouTube comment. Is that correct? Or mm, was I was no. making a lie? Making a lie. Alright. Fair enough. So, well, were there any evidence that I've posted? Because when I, because the thing is, I was considering it as an allegation. Although mm -hmm. the comment was absolutely faded away before you deleted the old channel. Mm-hmm. Why did you delete your YouTube channel for like for a reason? The real reason why I deleted it was because of the allegations made against me. So I had to because I was like scared and I didn't know what was going on. So I had to take okay. a little mental break and you know I started crying afterwards because I thought it was like my fault. Even though I know I didn't do any of this. Were you brave? Were you brave enough to? Were you brave enough to stop? Because considering it as you go after, one of, did you really go after one of my foes? Is that correct? Mm-hmm. What foe of mine did you really remember? What person? I have some foes that I really did go after in the past. You know, insectoid gal, the person. You know, for what she was done towards my people. I did not go after her. Nor was I involved in her drama. I did, I did, because 
I was involved with her drama because she made a lot of venting posts on TVNR, mm-hmm. not letting her, not letting her, pe- not letting her fans following her DA, claiming that she cares about her fans, but even though she didn't, because all she does is care about herself. Mm-hmm. I get she has trust issues, but she's taking advantage as a fucking excuse. Like, this fucker's in her fucking twenties, and she's living in her fucking goddamn parents. Yeah. Like, she needs to get a job and a life. Yeah, the thing like, is, god damn, bro, that is pretty sad. Like, I guess she is autistic, I know there's some mental disabilities that they can't spend time with parents. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. that. I'm and, like, just because, but... and just because you're autistic doesn't mean jack shit. Yeah, because she's in her 20s, and mm-hmm. I think she should just change for... But to, I think she just told her that she just changed for herself. But now, from what I've been told, she just posted some... But she just drove me to suicide. Just made, like, um, some thick Rule 34 NSFW that is pretty uncensored. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, that, now, like, here's, if, if um... Post, let here's me speak, Ivan. let me speak. Alright. What, what is it that you want to say? I was saying like that she never po- she posted on age restricted so that means mine so that uh, her followers that are considered minors can view her shit but literally if you're posting some NSFW content on DeviantArt age restrict it yeah otherwise it but won't work good but okay about that uni- YouTube anal- analytics thing I mean, like, I would say it's a, not a reliable source of information to mm-hmm. me, you know? You know, the thing is, the real reason why I kind of have a point that when I was in, you were in Diana's server at the time, mm-hmm. but you were using YouTube analytics as like for the for mature audiences, but I have an issue with YouTube these days because their analytics system is so broken. I checked it on my YouTube page mm-hmm. and then and then it seemed to deem to inaccurate. Well, my comments, I didn't see anyone on YouTube viewing my videos or commenting all that shit because YouTube may use them. Like, people might lie about their age, that's the point. Yeah, they might lie about their age, and... YouTube doesn't... It's better, I think it's better, I think it's better wise to like check their age and check the date of birth, like what year and day they were born. Yeah, but YouTube Analytics' system is broken and people should stop using it as their as their trusted source. Because I have a feeling it's always never been reliable because same mm-hmm. applies to Wikipedia or same applies to any other sites that aren't reliable. Just mm-hmm. trust me. Because everything on you everything has its own laws. That's the point. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I've been told that YouTube doesn't really give a fuck, and YouTube just terminated my channels for no fucking reason, my other accounts, for no fucking reason. Like, YouTube is yeah, so Yeah, and YouTube also added a stupid guideline where if your community post gets deleted, it gets hit with a community guideline strike. What the fuck? Yeah! I'm not joking. Like, if, if you take down- if they delete your YouTube community post, because it violates the turn service, you get a community guideline strike. That to me is pretty scary. Like that's so dumb. Like, yeah, that's fucking even, dumb. Like YouTube, I've been told that YouTube is going to get sued by the EEA from from using anti ad block. Yeah, they might be, and the problem is YouTube might get shut down afterwards after being sued. Or maybe not, or maybe fired from the CEO. Like, the CEO will might be fired by the law, pretty much, if they make bad decisions. Yup. And I think YouTube may close down due to the- due to- due to government suing them. Why? Because at some point they're abusing their terms, but nowadays YouTube will might cease to exist momentarily. I don't know what we're gonna watch anymore. Like, ah. Yeah, like... If YouTube does in fact get get sued again by any government, they're screwed. And 
they're gonna have to and the government may have no choice but to take control of YouTube and then yeah and some but the problem is like the CEO will get in trouble I do doubt that they will probably will replace a new CEO that is not too incompetent and not too shitty like the other one is I mean if Elon Musk if Elon Musk bought um, YouTube he would be great but I don't but but with Twitter yeah that's not good for him well what will Elon would do? Will he improve the community guidelines or shit? Yeah, I think. Will that... he actually will re will he actually will remove will he actually remove will he actually unban people from YouTube that there were nothing wrong that they did nothing wrong? We're not sure. But for the thing is, I hate how YouTube did this to me, like. My channels were getting terminated for no fucking reason because YouTube is same so thing with fucking... my YouTube, Same thing with my YouTube channel. Because it keeps... Because by every time a recording video of mine gets uploaded, it gets hit with an age restriction. While age restricting EXE UN videos do make sense on paper because after all, these videos were meant for mature audiences. But you can see the sheer hypocrisy of YouTube. Is it like rated M or is it just rated adults only? That's all. Rated adults only or something like that? Okay, yeah. But the thing is, I have a problem with like the ESRB. Like the ESRB is so bad for what I've been told. Like they're, they're using very bad censorship, like corrupt censorship on that shit. That's my, that's my Twitter comment, as you can see here. So, so, okay, so, so you see this right here when Kagan showed the evidence here. Ivan Sauspaw faked his suicide. I know this because he was faking it. He says, I was. So you believe it's true, is that correct? No, I don't believe it's true. Ivan Sauspaw 2K7 was lying about suicide because he was faking it. So how old is he? Is he like the same? Well, he's from Russia, and he's from Russia. Is that correct? Yep. Okay, that's that's fair enough. That's to be honest. Because I know Ivan Sospov has beat with me before, like back in March and stuff, and when I fought back. Be I think I the, be the beef began. I think it began when he commentated on my videos. And then I fought back and owned Ivan's ass. I owned his ass. Like, I scolded him. And then he was like... And then he's like... Saying that... He was trying to be desperate. Like, you know... Ivan Sauspaw says that... Says that... Says that I... I was lying about Ivan... Faking suicide, even though it was obvious that Ivan Sospov was doing this to get sympathy. Yeah, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when did this? When did the? When did the? When did this? When did the? Did your did your server got raided or some shit? No, I deleted the server because of the allegations made against me. I need to check your. So, I need to. Do you have any evidences on Discord? Mind if I see it? Evidence on Discord on what? On Discord. Mind if I really see it? You mean... What? You mean... Yes. Like, I need to see how that is true, because I need to see... My, sir, my Discord server? True... You mean my no, Discord? No, no. You mean, yeah, your Discord, like... That was like, um... Um, mind if I really see that? My Discord tag or yeah. something? Yes, your disc on your Discord account, like the where there were evidences of you. Mind if I literally see it? Yes, sure. This is the Makoto Yuki ult. I use this to like disguise myself and remain anonymous. Okay. 
And I try to say to Keegan and my old saying, do you know who is the person responsible for accusing Sonya Leannick of grooming them? So, you disguised yourself, is that correct? Yep. So, so this is my Octavia Gautier Twitter account, which means, yeah, that's the point. I'm... Mm -hmm. So, why did you, why did you accuse Ke... What, what, what were Keegan... Well, did Rebel Shadow really hate you, is that correct? Mmm, I don't think he hates me. I think it's because he just says, he just says, I was passed up, I was passed some pretty damning information about Sunderlandic last night. And I realized, wait a minute, who is the accuser? That was my question. And the accuser, and I found out the accuser oh. was boss all along. May I see, may I see, may I see the deep? May I literally see, may I see Rebel Shadow's DMs of that conversation? Mind if I see the full conversation of it? You mean the Discord DM? Yeah, it, like, no, not the, not the full video, I mean, like, the conversation that you met him, your Discord. Um, I don't know if I can do this, but okay, I'll do it. Alright, fair enough. I want to f see the full conversation with Rebel Shadow. If I mind if I literally see it for a good reason? Mm hmm. I think it was. Oh. Okay. Okay then. I want to see Wait. The full let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh... Okay then. I don't see if there's shadow around here. That's weird. Okay. Um, is it like Rhapsody Shadow or something like that? Rhapsody Shadow. Oh yeah, Rhapsody Shadow. Rhapsody Shadow. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But I think it's Rebel. Rebel. Shadow. I think that was the. Uh... Hmm. But I don't know if. Wait a minute. The Shadow Realm. Wait a minute. I'm trying to see where the Rebel Shadow is at, but... So, did Bloodshot really cut ties with you for a reason? I think... I... I don't know. I just don't know yet. Do you really have witnesses that I've been... Do you know that some of that time of that being, so... Here's the thing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what were you? What 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 happened? What happened when you actually? What happened? What what year did this? What 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 date date and date and month was started? What situation was it started of you before that allegation began? What the first allegation? Yes, I think the first allegation was Beatrice Karecki accusing me of being a pedophile. And, and then what's next? What, you, not, what's, it was not, you that accused. It was you and B accusing me of being a pedophile. And, and I, and I was legit confronted by some. After years, years later, after months later, I was confronted with a, some police type group, like some vigilante group. And then while mm -hmm. you were at it, I mean, like I have a terrifying feeling about this. So can you explain why I was confronted with this? I think it's because you were... I think I was accusing you of being a creep or something? With being yeah, creep what? to Bep? Yes, but... What happened when I... What happened when I was added? What, what the... When, what, when, when was I was added? I don't want to fully dig into detail of this. I think it's I between... Sure. I think it was around June at the time. 
No, it's no, no, no. In September. I'm not sure about that. Like no, in September twenty fourth that they added you in the Discord group. When oh, was that added. was a, that was a whole accord. I kind of really don't want you to mention that. Uh, okay. But, yeah, really don't really want to mention about that. Because they're a joke. I mean, like, well, for sure, I don't want to have a very bad experience with them. Like, they're just a lot more worse than some kind of vigilant, worse than some popular internet vigilante group. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to dig into detail of this because. The thing is, I think I did actually apologize to them, but I've left. But thank God, I I don't want to contact them ever again. Mm -hmm. I just don't want I just don't want them to be fully known, okay? Because I swear I have fucking anxiety, and I really don't want to fucking put, pull my brain cells out. Yeah. So what happened? So what happened? So, what happened before that situation was... So, why was I was confronted on that thing? Is it because of my antics? Yeah, of course, I did yeah. that shit. Uh, yeah, of course I did that shit, but I did it regretfully, but finally people just let me go for that shit. Mm -hmm. But here's the deal. Like, I swear, because... Did your parents got doxxed, is that correct? No, my parents didn't get doxxed. It was only my sister and my um, aunt. Did you, con did you tell your aunt and sister about this? No, I did not tell them about it. Well, well, so for the reason is because, um, it's like that you were... What, what what were you were accused of? Let me... I was accused I mean, of pedophilia uh, and grooming and sexual harassment. Even though it was uh, obvi wait. obvious that I never groomed a minor. Nor did I actually sexually harass the women that Keegan mentioned. Okay, but... So, so in my suggestion, does it really kind of remind you of that? Although... I mean, like, it reminds me of a situation that people just accuse me. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. So, I've been saying this for, like, well, for having this, I had a full... I had a full... Con so, that was a time. Well, I don't want to mention the person that I've met since, like, in 2021. That firstly met that... I don't want to start with the person that her name is, like, um... Like, I mean, like, she was 13 at the time, and did you actually talk to her on a Discord call, like, when I was in that server? When it comes to, like, Red The DM flag? group? Yeah. Okay. So, I have a question. Why did you spam some, like, um, Temi NSFW while the day when I was confronted you? Hmm. That's kind of hard to explain. How did you get this image from? Let me. Can you tell me something the, about the that? The, the porn image of Temi? I think I got it from Deviant or, or something. And I was absolutely kind of like I was fucking disgusted. Mm hmm. And speaking of that. Okay, why so. Did you act Alright, do you want me to prove it? Okay. So, like showing her ass on that, like, of course. Mm hmm Yeah. Because why did you actually got that and then send it to post it? Like, that th kind of... I think I think it was supposed to be used as a way to, like, raid or something like that. Yeah, but... Yeah, but according to my calculations, I think... Sending porn to, like, to minors like, by raiding it is, like, disgusting and it's red flag. Like, yeah. if... But if you're doing this to involve children like that, or all that like that shit, 
like when it involves like that for when when it involves children all that shit. Yeah. I when that really involves minors and all that shit, it just is a red flag for that thing because Yeah, that is. So, okay, so when were you accused of when were you accused of things that what year were you what year when what happened like I've been like literally I've been discovering like clay claymore shit I just absolutely described it I actually subscribed to clay claymore mm. I mean like the guy I've heard like uh, JS Senpai for like X4 like he's a weirdo yeah and minister and Ministry of Otaku, like, why? Why is Min- um, do you literally despise him? I mean, like, do you despise, um, JSN Pi for some reason? Yeah, I do despise him, because he's into lolly shit. What about Mis Ministry of Otaku? Same thing, because he's a weirdo and a sick fuck. And what does his literally? What does he, his voice sound like? Does he literally sound like a fucking old man or some shit? Yeah, that's what he sounds. That's what Mystery of Sound Talk sounds like. He sounds like a Texas guy or something like that. Like fact, math, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I made a speak audio video out of him, owning video out of him just to piss him off. Well, okay, yeah, but back to the interview. Um. So, so, when did you got that source of the image when Temi showed her, like, ass, not uncensored, by wearing her, like, her panties and shit? I think I got I, it from the, um, I think I got it from, uh, DeviantArt. Or probably, like, um, or, or, oh, so, did you actually download, did you actually deleted it from your PC for a reason? E I don't think I, I think I I think I had it on my phone I think and I deleted it so is that true so it's canonically confirmed mm-hmm all right so I have been proven to say that I've been telling this what if somebody else what if somebody else got because what if somebody else filed a lawsuit against you I will proceed like, with legal action and try to fight back. Okay, so... Okay, then. If, if, if there's a court case of, like, if the person... What if the... If, what if Adrian filed a court case against you? If Adrian filed a court case against me for... Basically arguing with him on Twitter and debunking every argument that he made... I think I would have to defend myself and explain my side of the story and get out and give out the evidence where Adrian sends like IRL gore. I mean like in my suggestion IRL gore can be illegal in like it can be illegal some people may believe it's illegal. I don't know if the legalities of gore can work but it may be illegal and I don't want to be press charges for that for some reason like like I've watched some like some shock animated series like on god it's it's pretty blood it's like fucking like it's like shock animated series and like holy fucking kaboli like god I've been into like into internet rabbit holes before and also I did actually kind of regret hating on Diana, like, in the past, you know, that's the meaning of it. But the thing is, the thing is, what happened, what, what if you were, what if you were, are you actually, what if you were doxxed? Will you, uh, will you actually stay on the internet or will you actually call the cops? Um, I would definitely call the cops and, you know, take legal action, and try to prove my innocence. Okay, so you're gonna file a person in court for like for a reason for that in this suggestion. Now he says, "Be right back. I'm calling Alex," and then he's calling my sister because 
because um, they were doxing my sister because they wanted to bring my sister in. They want to drag my sister into a situation that she had nothing to be involved in for. So, so you wanted to, so do you actually wanted to actually, so, so you're going to ask your sister if, if your sister's, is your sister going to file a police report to an individual? Who's falsely accusing me? Yes. Yes, I, I believe so. Okay, uh, is the court case going to be filed? The court case? Like, how old, how old is she when she can file a court case? Is she like 18 or like, or in her 20s? My sister is 25. Okay. Okay, then. So she's got, so, so, so she is legally to file a court case. If, if the court case has been filed, and if the evidence were proven to be true, then I can guarantee if the, like, if the judge is, it's the judges decide, so let until let the judge what they can do what they want all right so i'm saying this have a great day and if anything else has been telling this situation i think i'll tell my sister about the allegations made against me and i'll try to tell her my side of the story to prove my innocence all right see ya have all a great right. day thank you very much um kyle for B believing what I'm saying.